Welcome back to 13 News Now at Noon. If you've been considering, oh, you're so cute, adopting a furry feline friend this holiday season, you are in the right place. We have Julie Easterbrooks and Annette Sala of Kitty Kingdom and Lil Roar Rescue joining us now to tell us about the process of rehoming. Ladies, thank you for being here. Oh, thank you for having us. And we love these babies that you've brought oh, here. And they're yes. available for adoption? Absolutely. Okay. We've worked hard yeah. to raise up their money so that we can get them adopted at a very low fee. That's wonderful. Tell me a little bit about them and, and you know, people are watching and maybe they're interested what they need to know. Okay, well, um, thanks to uh, an adopter of Little Work uh, Cat Rescue, mm -hmm. we got the idea to have our adoption fees for our kitties to be privately funded. Privately mm -hmm. funded 501c3 shelters, unfortunately, aren't, don't get the corporate right. backing and so, right. Our adoption fees are like 100, 150 okay. uh, over at the cafe, and we just can't compete this time of the year with the $35, $50 adoptions. And so we've been asking the public to uh, uh, sponsor these adoption fees. And Slim and Vern are <laughs> long-term okay. residents at, uh, Ki at Kitty Kingdom. They were adopted in 22, okay. and then uh, they were returned in the summer of uh, 23, and they've been at the cafe for at least about six months. Oh, wow. These are marvelous cats. Even under a stressful situation, you can see how good they are. And so we had their adoption fee um, that was originally $200 down to $50 for both kitties. Wow. And that's because of the sponsorship. That's that because of the sponsorship. That's awesome. Yep. So the key here is not just, you know, finding, you know, forever homes for these babies, but also if people want to donate, do they just come to the cafe? How does that work? Um, well, the cafe really is a 501, is, is not a 501c3. We're not for profit. We are a social enterprise. Mm -hmm. We uh, offer interactions uh, with the kitties okay. um, and where they get all the adoption fees from the kitties okay. that we take care of. Okay. So just patronizing Kitty Kingdom Cat Cafe is, is a plus. But if you have a particular rescue you want to adopt for or sponsor, then we have a link on our website that you can do that. Okay, and give us that website. Uh, the website is um, www.kittykingdomcatcafe.com. Perfect. Now, if, when we're thinking about uh, potential homes, what are some things that people need to keep in mind if you don't have a cat and you're not really sure if your home is a good fit? What do people need to know? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I got it. Well, um, some cats um, may or may not like dogs, so that's one thing okay. you want to think about. And if you do have a dog, you definitely want to do slow introductions, too. Okay. We recommend. Okay, mm -hmm. sounds good. Now, with the cafe, one quick question I did have. Do you have to make any types of reservations or things like that, or can you just come and interact? You can, you can do both. Okay. Do both. Uh, yeah, we um, have uh, a booking... Uh, <laughs> we have a booking oh. uh, tab on our menu, okay. and we also take walk-ins. Walk-ins on, on the weekdays are great. Oh. On the weekends, uh, you may want to make sure that you got a spot. Okay, yeah, maybe call ahead and, okay. And, and <laughs> Kitty Kingdom has great coffee. We serve wine and beer. We have great little noshes, great little snacks, and you can take your coffee or non, any non-alcoholic beverage in with you as you enjoy the company of these wonderful, wonderful kitties. Oh, they're so sweet. And before we go, let's get a little bit more information about the rescue. People want to reach out. How can they do that? Um, so our email is littlewarcatrescue at gmail.com. Fantastic. Make sure you reach out. You know, whether you're interacting or you do want to adopt, foster, I'm sure there are lots of opportunities, volunteer yeah, as yes. well. Oh, gosh, yeah. Yeah. Lots of chances to make sure you are uh, just, just being a blessing to these sweet babies. And do what you can, certainly around the holidays, and hopefully we can find these forever homes for these Please, babies. Please, I promised them a home for Christmas. Oh, okay. Well, you heard it. I All did. Right. I promised these guys a it's home It's on air. <laughs> yes. I love that. Thank you, ladies, so much. Thank you all Thank for you. being so good. Thank we're going to let you all get back to it now, okay? <laughs> Thank you. We'll be right back. Thank you. <laughs>